All right, welcome back. All right, um, I kind of had some problems recording the last segment was at the end of it when I tried processing the video. It just my computer doesn't like this emulator, and when it starts saving the program at the same time, up because it just freezes my computer, which pissed me the hell off because I thought it was gonna fail, but luckily it didn't. Because if it did fail, um, you probably wouldn't see segment one on YouTube. Yeah, but I adjusted the volume because the volume was a little bit too high for you to be able to hear my voice and the game at the same time. So, I changed that. And now it's time to go to the first... Do not pull that shit on me. No. Hell no, you do not lag, you stupid computer. Alright, time for the boss. The store. It looks like you need a magic seal right away. Okay, then. Magic V. Looks like you, you need a magic seal to finish off the monster in here. Just be calm and focus. I'll be waiting here. No problem. Yeah. First boss is not really that hard. His patterns are easily defined. It's just I don't have a good enough soul counter right now. Ah, what the wrong button? Yes. Huh. Arr. It touched his. There we go. That's one thing I hate about the Skeleton Soul. It really does not have a high arc in Hidden. It has a very low chance. You have to go... Actually, I have to jump up there and hit him. And why are you lagging, you goddamn computer? Shut the hell up! You're not overheating! Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Pretty simple boss, and flying armor is just... Easy. So like that. Ah! Okay, thank you. There we go. So, basically, there's another soul that I should have farmed for, but I'm a lazy bastard and I don't really give a shit. So, ah! Fuck off. I should have farmed for the axe armor soul, which is really useful. Ah! No. Fuck you! There we go. When are you gonna start it? There we go, come on. Yeah. Kind of hard when the controls are stiff as hell when I'm used to the actual DS and not the emulator. So, if I fuck up a lot, it's because of that. Alright. God damn it. Ah! And that too. What the hell? He instantly did that. That's bullshit. The swords came back and he just started. Die, you son of a bitch. Ah. There we go. You gotta be... I hate this stupid... Where I'm pressing up, I'm trying to do the stupid bone. Arr. There we go. Three times. Screw you, flying armor. <sighs> Thankfully, now he's dead, so we don't have to deal with this motherfucker. But other souls are probably gonna be fucked up. Uh huh, yeah. They'll probably prepare more and more complex patterns for magic seals. Well, fuck. Mm-hmm. Alright. You sure? In case, I'll be going now. Mwah. Oh, there's one more thing, though. Joyce may have some new information, so come see me if you're close by. And Soma, please don't do anything reckless. What does that mean? Count on it. You take care too, Yoko. Alright. So these basically these orbs 
will refill your life and your uh, MP meter. So, now that we have a new soul, let's equip it. It's mine armor. So, by pressing the L button, I didn't show it before, you can actually use it. So what you do is with the flying armor, you use that. And we got a Claymore. A much, much stronger weapon than our short sword. But this is not the uh, type of weapon I'm going to be using. There's actually another type of weapon that is much stronger than that. And we need to do some things with Yoko, which is over here. Oh, hi, Soma. You're going to act as Julie's contact here? Yeah. There was no, uh, no one living here, so I thought it'd be okay. Oh, that little rough-looking guy right across from me? What was his name again? Hammer. Yes, that's it. What is he doing here? Eh, I can't read. He came to help me. Honestly, you didn't ask him, uh, ask him to come? Did you, Soma? Of course I didn't. I'm sure you wouldn't, but it's too dangerous for him to be here. Can't you tell him to leave, Soma? I told him already. He wouldn't budge. Besides, it's helpless now. Especially after someone who's not supposed to be here shows up. Huh? Well, if he wouldn't listen to you, I suppose it is hopeless. By the way, I gained a new ability. What's that? Dominance? A new ability? What? So the power of dominance lets you control the souls of monsters, right? Right. So I thought I could use the magic to draw the monster souls out and use them. You mean release the souls? Something like that. Of course I would need your cooperation, Soma. And it's not something that's uh, easy to do. So how do you plan to use these freed souls? Well, I can fuse the freed souls with a weapon, thus create a new weapon. The souls you would be, uh, the souls you use would be lost, though. Can you even do that? That's rather rude of you to ask. I may not look the part, but I'm considered an exceptional spellcaster. Just tell me if you need something. I'll prove it to you. Okay, then. Oh, and by applying my abilities, I may be able to reduce the soul use. I'm not sure if you need that, but just keep that in mind. Got it. So, may I help you with anything today? And basically, this is a weapon shop, because most weapons in this game, unlike previous Castlevania games, you won't find very strong weapons or drop weapons from enemies. So what you do here is you come to Yoko and you can make new weapons by fusing souls that you've gained through your dominance ability into new into weapons and make them stronger. Now there's one in particular that I want. It's basically an axe. If you upgrade the axe, you can get the strongest dark weapon in the game, which it has over 150 attack, but it's a dark element weapon nonetheless. It is the Death Scythe, but that won't be until much later in the game, and after I get 100% souls in order to get an item. But anyways, I have to come over here and farm. I'm going to do that off screen, but I'm going to do one try through, and if I get it, then you'll probably just see me uh, go back to Yoko. But if not, off screen time, very fun. So, I killed both axe armors in this area, and I didn't get an axe armor soul. So, I'll see you once I get two axe armor souls. Alright, back outside the shop, now that I've gotten the souls that I wanted. Got axe armor souls and warp souls. I got quite a few trying to farm for only two axe armor souls. Look at that! God damn, I got nine souls. So, anyways, now it's time to fuse one of our one of our souls with this uh, weapon I have. Uh, blah blah. Uh, stupid hammer. Skip that. All right. So, anyways, now the weapon synthesis. Basically, you have a list of all of your weapons, and we go to axe. So, we're gonna fuse our axe armor into our axe and get a battle axe much more 
and we're gonna need a manticore soul in order to get the bijou which we'll be using for a lot of the game until we get the next soul after it which is an axe armor soul a great axe armor soul which will be very difficult because it has a two percent drop rate so kind of difficult so anyways now that that's done we can actually progress through this area now the axe itself you can buy it from hammer shop which is Right, like right across from uh, Yoko's shop if you read that whole scene about Yoko and stuff. Why are you lagging like a motherfucker? Okay, and you can buy it for 800 um, uh, gold and you can get like a thousand gold right here. It's just that awesome. Can you jump back up here? Yeah. But um, yeah, you can buy it for 800 uh, gold pieces and stuff like that. Or every once in a while if you're farming for axe armor souls an axe armor will drop an axe weapon so that's pretty good and it's at the point of the game if you don't need a uh, fuse assault it's actually one of the better weapons claymore would be the second strongest but most people have problems with the larger weapons because the fact is they're much slower to a swing but yet, they're extremely strong. That's the thing. But I always sacrifice speed for strength in this game. And I'm kind of like, uh, seek and destroy, so I kind of go in there and guns a-blazing. Open up. So that's my style in this game, like, you will see others probably on YouTube that will probably use other strategies requiring souls. In my opinion, there are only maybe three or four souls that are actually worthwhile using, and Axe Armor is one of them at this point in the game. Other souls suck. So, I'm gonna stop here, and we'll continue through the Wizardly Lab. See you guys next time.